Izzy Bourne making moves on Alexia Smith. Run's going to have to adjust on the fly, and that's what this season's really been about between COVID pauses, injuries. Who can adjust the best are the teams that succeed? Katie Barovich and Izzy Bourne has the ball. There's the leading scorer for the Nebraska Cornhuskers, Sam Hybe. To the basket and great finisher around the rim. However, adding that three-point shot to her toolbox has been massive for the Huskers. Godiva Hubbard inside and off the glass. 31 and White stands at 6'5", one of the best shot blockers in the country. Just her pure size able to alter shots. Isabel Bourne, the sophomore from Australia. It's going to be a, a stepping up by committee, rather. Hubbard, as you see, how he gets a bucket. Hubbard stepping up for Minnesota. Smith stepping up for Minnesota. Smith with the shot clock at five. Nice passing from Mersh on the deep one. Scania's double team. Bounce to pass it over to Grace Cumming, who is back in the game and played really well their last outing. Instead, it's a turnover and Hybe all the way. Whitney Brown. That three ball goes for Kendall Coley, the freshman out of Minneapolis. Kate Kane looking for position, finds it. They have beaten a few ranked teams this year. Huskers took down Northwestern twice, Ohio State, and Michigan State earlier in the year. The deep shot goes for Kendall Coley. What I was most impressed with, the way you said important. There's actually a T in the middle of important. People don't know that as Bella Cravens gets the bucket to fall. It's important to pronounce that T. I was going to say, that must be very traumatic. You're clearly over it bringing it up on this broadcast. 16 and it really hurt me. It's not a big deal. Oh, man. If they can only see you now. Great feed inside to Kane for two. Kane sighs once again. Of course, she's on the Big Ten All-Defensive team yet again. That's three times in her four years she's been on it. Bagwell Katalinich recovers and lays it in. Nebraska winning this second quarter 20 to 8. Expanding on their five point lead they had after one. And in the lane, it's good for Hybe. Of 10 and 11, respectively. And Baravitz brings it the other way for Minnesota. Spinning Alexis Smith in the lane. Mark Sconiers, the sophomore. Wins up a lot in the paint because the defenders have to come out. So as a result, Minnesota would be able to get more paint touches if they had a great three-point shooter out there. Great effort by Grace Cumming, who was getting the boards and then does hit a three. Hard, man. I mean, 6.30 hits different when it's a shoot-around situation. It's just such a cool opportunity to have every team here as Bourne knocks down the three for Nebraska. Okay, so give people at home, if they're coming in for the women or the men or the men's NCAA tournament, give them a thing that you got to do in Indianapolis. You won't find it at the brochure. Well. A few moments ago, we saw an injury to Ruby Porter of Nebraska. Olivia Decker's with us. What's the latest on that? Yeah, Mike, she will not return. In fact, she just went back in the training room. She's receiving an MRI. Especially tournament time in March. All bets are off. This, this time of year is all about momentum. And you have a player like Izzy Bourne who's able to pull off up and unders that the best offensive team in the nation, averaging 91 points a game. Going to be big for Nebraska to control pace of play against a team like Maryland who wants to speed it up. Times this year when they have been able to slow down that pace and stay really disciplined on the defensive side of the ball. So if they're able to do that, who knows what could happen? It's March. All bets are off. And Ashley Scoggins get in layups. Absolute star power like we've never seen. I mean, you have years where there's one utterly great player or two or three, but the amount of talent this year in the league has been such a joy to watch throughout the year. There are so many players who made second team all Big Ten that you could make an argument that they should have made first team all Big Ten. That's what they're looking for with Sconiers. Turns to her left, shoots to the right. Bagwell Katalinich, another rebound. She's got seven. Baravich drills a deep one. Playing her final week of games in the Scarlet and Cream. My, another, another deep one. Your final score in the first of 
four games today in Indianapolis is 72 to 61. 